Hey everyone, it's Pedro, and uh, today we're going to be tackling uh, Steven Universe Episode 1, uh, which is called, if I remember correctly, uh, Gem Glows. So, pretty much, uh, what can I say about this? <laughs> I mean, uh, just like Gravity Falls, I'm completely caught up with the show, but it's like, going back to Episode 1, it's <laughs> interesting. Uh, quick question, am I the only one... <laughs> Uh, in the mood for ice cream right now, just from watching that episode, it's like, um, <clears throat> it's interesting, uh, I remember seeing a couple of other reviews for this episode from other channels, and <laughs> they had the exact same effect, and I'm like, yeah, right, but then look at it again, it's like, I really want an ice cream, <laughs> I want cookie cat. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I talked about it with a bunch of my friends, and they all agreed. It's like if they ever have cookie cats, they'll fight for it. It's 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 interesting, <laughs> really funny. Um, yeah. So episode one, uh, there was a pilot, um, uh, called well episode zero, which was the pilot. Um, if you guys want me to review that, I'll probably do it. Um, if you guys ask, but uh, for now we're just gonna start from the first episode. So. Uh, episode 1, Steven Universe, Gem Glows, it's <laughs> quite the start, uh, because um, it has the same vibe, in a sense, like the same really random vibe of uh, shows like Adventure Time, or like Spongebob, or something like that, but um, I'll explain in a bit. Uh, pretty much, okay, so we start off uh, with um, Steven, he's really upset because his favorite ice cream is um has been canceled or something like you know how sometimes your favorite foods or food brand or something they just stop selling them stuff that's pretty much how it is here so they stopped selling cookie cats his favorite um ice cream bar and it, like <laughs> He acts as if this thing is God or something, because he praises this sweet treat, and it's, again, it's really funny, uh, mainly because um, the people who work at the store, they try to, they try to get him to uh, get, uh, what was it, lion, uh, lion licks, yeah? And he just like treats it so badly, and it's like, it doesn't even look like a lion, and then I'm like, it, it, that just sends like a whole flashback right there, because um, anyone who's been through that, where it's like, you try to get an ice cream face like a character, and then you look at it, it's like, this doesn't even look like the character I like, and it's like, wow, okay. So at least this show knows how to get you to get you into your nostalgic mode or something, because you're going to notice in the show there's a lot of that. Um, so, yeah, so, um, feeling extremely upset and stuff, Steven's all sad, so, the people who, who, uh, work, um, at the place, they just tell him, uh, oh, you could keep the refrigerator that holds the cookie cats, so he, he does, he takes it home, and there he, um, he goes home and meets up with um, the three women, uh, the Crystal Gems, um, which by the way, uh, the song, the song for the show, um, these days I, I tend to notice that it's like a lot of show, a lot of shows, uh, especially animated shows, they do, they, uh, they tend to put effort into their songs in a sense, um, I mean, and then there are other shows who it's like, yeah, you could say they put effort, but it's like, uh, they're more like instrumental bass, like, which is no problem. I love Gravity Falls, and look, it doesn't have a single lyric in um, in its opening, and it's great. I love it. Uh, <laughs> um, it's just, um, for a lyrical song, I didn't realize a song like this would be so catchy. It was like, we are the crystal gems, we and it was like, it was so catchy even though even though me particularly i kind of have a i kind of have a thing uh not against but a little nitpick at times whenever i whenever a show sings a song and it's like it's mainly about the show i don't know maybe it's because i'm generic or something like if i hear a song from something i kind of want to 
I especially a song I like, I would like to play that song since I'm a musician. I would like to play that song for like friends and stuff later on, but then it's like if it's for the show itself, then it's like eh, which I understand. It makes the show original, uh, but at the same time, it's like you know, it's just a little nitpick. But either way, the song is great, super catchy, and um, as said in the song, um, is the name of the three uh, well, four main characters, but three female leads are um, uh, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, the three crystal gems who Steven lives with. Uh, kind of makes you wonder, where are his parents? <laughs> but you'll probably... Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Um, I've caught up with the show, but for your sake. Uh, so pretty much... Um, so yeah, he goes home, and uh, he meets up with three gems. Uh, he goes home and sees they're fighting a bunch of... Monsters who have infestated the their home, which they call the temple. I, okay, um, and uh, again, it's interesting the design. I love the design of uh, of the show. Really, really unique. Um, like um, the place, like the town that Stephen goes into. It's like you know, just looks like a town. But then when you go into the temple, you see just Wow, like, uh, first first off, the monsters that they were fighting, they're so unique. It's like, had these weird mouth things, these, uh, what was it going again? The Santa Beetles? Yeah, Santa Beetles. And it's like, they're like these big centipede-like things, and I guess they're part centipedes, part beetles or whatever. And it's like, they have these mouth, mouths. And the eye, their eyes are in the mouth, and it's like, it makes you wonder, how does it eat? Does it, does it hurt? Oh, that, it sounds painful just thinking about it. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. But, yeah, um, so, pretty much, uh, they destroy those real quick, and then Steven talks to them, complaining about how cookie cats have been, uh, discontinued. So, you know, it's like, oh, it sucks. And then, surprise, surprise, he checks into the fridge, and it looks like the crystal gems, uh, Amethyst says that she, they all stole them, but then it's like, uh, which is funny, it's like, what? <laughs> you just, you just openly say you steal them, but then, um, Pearl, um, um, she says that she paid for them all, so I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's funny. You, you, right then and there, you could already tell that it's like, uh, Amethyst, She's the, you can already tell from that episode that she's kind of like the uh, quote-unquote cool one or the, you know, the one the the one who breaks all the rules while uh, Pearl's the one who's more like uptight and and uh, proper. Yeah, so that's another thing I really like about the show that it's like um, right when you meet the characters, you can already tell who they are. Um, like you can already tell their personalities and it's... Uh, that's a very hit or miss kind of thing when you do that, because then it's like, what other character development can you get? Uh, but also, at the same time, you get to know these characters. It's like, oh, wow, I could automatically relate to these guys. Um, luckily for this show, it, it was a hit. It was a hit. Uh, and not only do they do that, you later on throughout the series, you get to see that there's actually a lot of development for every character. And when I say every character, I mean every character. <laughs> Like, oh my goodness, it takes some time. But, yeah, so they buy the Cookie Cats, uh, and Steven gets super excited. So excited, in fact, that out of nowhere, he just sings this song. And it's like, uh, Cookie Cats, he's super duper yummy. Cookie Cats, he's yummy for your tummy. Cookie Cats, he left his family behind! And, and it was like, what? <laughs> it's like, I, I, I want, I want to know the origins of, this is what this show should be about, <laughs> about the origins of these freaking cookie cats, it's like, he left his family behind, why, we, through, uh, it's a little bit of a spoiler, so I apologize, but throughout the entire rest of the show, 
there is no connection to these cookies. I mean, there's like, we, we hear nothing about her. And like, I want to find out what the origins of these, of these cookie cats are. It's like, such his fam why would he leave his family behind? For what reason? <laughs> oh my goodness, it is, it, what the heck? So yeah, he, he gets super excited, super happy, and he starts um, taking a bite out of the cookie cat. And um, suddenly the, his gem uh, starts glowing. That's another thing. Uh, if you're a crystal gem, you're going to have like gems around your body, and that's where your powers come from. So it's like his gem, which is located in the belly button, I don't know why it's okay yeah sure but yeah it's um it starts glowing and that's like apparently a big deal because it's like oh that means his powers are coming in and he's gonna like grab his weapon or something because along with your gem you get a certain weapon that comes with that gem so uh it starts doing it doing it and then suddenly out of nowhere it's like the freak how'd you do that <laughs> it, it it's like how do you end up doing like I, I don't know so eating it um eating the cookie cat uh you see that it starts glowing he gets super excited but he has no idea how to do it because it's like apparently a first i think uh, and um it stops right then and there and it's like oh that sucks so he so then uh each of the gems they try to teach him the ways that they uh, that they do that they get their weapons to work and to get their powers to work and it's so funny because okay so we start off with pearl who shows him like all this um the typical training and inner peace kind of thing like kind of like if you saw kung fu panda chew you get what i mean where it's like work with your inner peace inner peace inner peace whoa. and then the rose petals coming out it's like I feel like I'm watching an anime now or something. I have no idea. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, so it's like all... And then we see um, Steven throwing up rose petals and stuff. <laughs> Trying to get his powers to work. And it's like, does he get the concept? Like, I don't think so. So then it's Amethyst's turn. And <laughs> so then uh, she does the exact opposite. Where it's like, man, you don't think about it. You don't. You just do it and just do it. She grabs her whips and starts like that, which a really funny joke happens where it's like she breaks uh, a trash can and the guy who works in the store, he comes out and he's like, what? Not again. And it's like, how many times has she done this? How long have they been around? Actually, that's a pretty good question. Um... Um, but yeah, anyways, um, so after Amethyst, uh, it's Garnet's turn, and she is probably the most funny, because it's like, she's all serious and stuff, and not much of a talker with sunglasses and the afro and stuff, and then it's like, you have to combine all the powers and elements of the universe into one, and bring it out, and brrr, um, like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, where it's like, um, there's always that one character whenever you're training or something or uh, or fighting and you're supposed to have powers that they're like concentrate all the powers into the universe and it's like what that one question mark on your head and it's like what <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah that's there's that <laughs> and in the end Steven still has no idea how to do it so he's just kind of like upset about it he's, it sucks um, so then it's like, oh, maybe he should try, like, retracing his steps, trying to see how he did it. So, uh, again, we have a little funny moment where they go back to the spot where it happened, and, um, he makes the gems stand exactly how they were doing it. Like, you have to stand this way, uh, you have to sit exactly like this position, your foot was like that, and it's, like, so much detail. I was like, my goodness, this show has more detail than... The show it's the characters pay more attention to the detail than the shows itself. Or something like that. It's like my goodness. <laughs> so then it's like he does the he get he tries eating Cookie Cat and suddenly he realizes that um you know it's not working it's not working and it's like uh but then it does where he's super like he at first he's super upset, then he tries eating it. 
eating a cookie cat and then suddenly it starts working which uh, working which automatically makes them believe that well makes Steven believe that it's the cookie cats that are giving him this power and what happens next is so hilarious because okay so then we find out it's a shield like your mother apparently his mom had a shield his mom was a crystal gem okay so the shield comes out as like wow and it was like awesome and, and then he's like suddenly it starts going around and it's like oh my goodness this kid is captain america because this shield is bouncing off the walls like blah, blah, blah. get down and it's like what <laughs> it destroys a bunch of stuff and it's, it's really comical um, yeah, so, uh, the shield, it's a shield, the weapon's a shield, and then he tries doing it again, it doesn't work, but it's like, he believes that it's the cookie cat, so then, some, suddenly, they find out that the mother of the, of the, uh, of the beetle things, uh, centipedals, they, um, it just appears in the beach, and it's like, oh, we found the mother, or pretty much it found them, because it broke through the roof. If I remember correctly, yeah. But <clears throat> either way, um, so the gems start fighting the Santa Beetle, uh, and they're cornered. So Steven gets the all the cookie cats, and, and puts it in the refrigerator, stands next to it, and, and is like, "Hey, take this!" And then it's like he starts eating the cookie cats, and it's like it doesn't work. He notices it's not working. It's like what? Um, and he starts like getting concerned and then it's like he eats more cookie cats and be like farewell my friend and it's like dude it didn't it didn't happen the first time it's not gonna happen the second time but you know he keeps going he keeps going it's obviously not working and then um and getting out of the way from an attack he sees that the refrigerator for the cookie cat gets destroyed and it's the only one that's apparently around so he gets super upset and then he sees the the crystal gems are in danger so he gets all you know uh emotional and stuff being like and starts confidently singing the cookie cat song it's like cookie cats they're good for your tummy cookie cats they're super duper yummy cookie cats he left his family behind and then it's like he just like i don't know he apparently like if i remember correctly he shocks it yeah i think he electrocutes it and then the crystal gems destroy it and then he's like cookie cats now available nowhere and it was like it, it, it's so over dramatic and it's like at one point it's like the critical side of me it's like really dude while the 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 viewer side of me it's like i feel the pain bro i feel the pain but <laughs> yeah it was all really funny they destroy the skull beetle skull beetle and uh, Centipedal, I know you guys are gonna get super upset at me now for saying that Skull of Beetle. I was thinking Pokemon, even though the, I was thinking Skull of Beetle or something. But yeah, so, uh, in the end, they destroyed the, uh, the Centipedal, uh, and, uh, a little ref Pokemon reference, uh, actually, if you pay really close attention, is, um, the, the gem that comes from it. Because apparently these monsters turn into gems or something. The gem that they get is in the form of a Pokeball. And I was like, ah, Pokemon reference, yeah! And I was like, yeah! And it's like, no, for all you people out there who's gonna say that, no, man, that's just a little cool. No, that's not a coincidence. No. You'll see in a future episode that it is a Pokemon reference. You'll see. There, mm, it's a Pokeball. There. That's it. Hm. Uh. Right now, I want to cross over. Not that. Kind. Anyways, so, um, my thoughts on the episode was, it was cute, it was nice, uh, it was funny, very funny, it, um, obviously, I'm gonna be watching all of them because I'm already caught up with the show. Darn you, my friends, you guys know who you are, who got me into the show, uh, it's just... <laughs> but either way, great show. Um, the first episode was uh, a good one. Um, and yeah, I just like 
I like the animation. That's one thing that I really enjoy about the show. Uh, along with the music, uh, you get a you get a video game vibe when the music playing. Like it sounds as if you're listening to an old uh, Nintendo or Sega soundtrack, where it's like a or something like that. And it's like when it starts, certain songs make you feel like, oh, I'm playing a game of of Mega Man or Sonic or Mario or Legend of Zelda it has a Legend of Zelda vibe to it uh, the music if you really if you pay close attention but it's all vi it, it's it all sounds like a video game mix being used for the soundtrack um, and then the animation like I said animation I really like um, the temple um, I like the animation of the creatures the creatures are very interesting and the characters like Steven's character is very simplistic like very like chubby kid with a t-shirt, pants, sandals, and a gem on his, in his belly buttons. But then, like, the crystal gems, um, I love their animation, actually. I love the, I love, I love the way they made them, where it's like, they all have their body figures and stuff, and it's really cool. Um, um, it's, at first, at first I felt a little weird when I first saw the show about the whole colors, but then it's like, ah, you know what, you, you get used to it in just five seconds. Um, uh, Garnet being purple and then uh, Pearl is like super duper duper pale. It's like, okay, we're going up on Twilight here. I just realized I mentioned Twilight in two videos. No. I'm not gonna do that but I know what you're thinking but anyways um, anyways uh, yeah so the animation is great uh, I really enjoy it um, the crystal gems they have an, a, ver a very original concept to them that I really enjoy and uh, I love the personality so far again it's only the first episode so things can change but for now I like I like the first episode. I like the way the animation was. I like the the music. It was very cute, very funny episode, and I want to see the origins of Cookie Cat because that is something I hope they make an episode of. I want them to make an episode of that because it just makes too much sense. Or well, not too much sense. I just really want to see. Uh, I don't care if it's a filler episode. Or I just want to see the origin of Cookie Cats because I want to find out why he left his family behind. If you see it, if you see the video, if you see the song, it's like, tears coming out, and it's like, it's so heart jerking, it's like, why? <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, so that's my take on the video, on the episode, uh, I really enjoyed it, um, can't wait for the next one, and, um, hopefully you, you guys, uh, enjoyed it, uh, make sure to click like and subscribe, and, um, I don't know, uh, uh, also, if you guys can, um, if you comment down below, uh, I'd also like to hear from you. Uh, what was your take on this episode? Uh, what did you like about it? What um, What did you find interesting? Uh, what did you not like about it? And you know, where do you think Cookie Cat came from? <sighs> okay, so I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Oh, he's a frozen treat with an all-new taste because he came to this planet from outer space. A refugee of an interstellar war, but now he's at 